And before we have him come out, his list of exceptional sophistication is so long, uh, makes me feel bad about what I've achieved in my life so far. Um, so he used to head the life sciences at XPRIZE, co-founded Berkeley Biolabs, and helped in neurosciences in the ALS therapeutic focused biotech company. And he also co-founded Counterculture Labs, which is so cool. Head over to Counterculture Labs in Oakland and try um, some uh, polymerase chain reactions and all this kind of cool stuff that they offer over there. Make sunscreen that doesn't hurt the oceans, um, all this kind of great stuff. Um, Pseudo room and a hacker space space in downtown Oakland. But he is best known for his work as venture partner and program director at Indie Bio, which is the largest seed stage biotech accelerator in the world. So without further ado, Ryan Bethencourt. Come on out. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, guys. You are so welcome. Your list of accomplishments is so long. It's fun times. What a Tinder bio is, right here. Yeah, this, huh? is, this is always weird looking at a picture of myself, right? That's a good profile <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> it matches all the portraits I have in my house. Right? <laughs> oh, imagine. Oh, well, you're shaved in this one. Yeah. You're kind yeah, of letting it go right yeah. now. Yeah, no, I, it's... Uh, you forgot yeah. to put your height. It's so. a new style. Oh. Yeah, girls like when you put your height. They do. Uh, they uh, do. Yes. Cuddle professional. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Ryan, so you've... You've been on the show about a year ago. I just want yes. to um, check in with you because that was our second show ever. Yes. Uh, it is now 27 shows in or 28 shows in. It's, it's a lot amazing. of shows. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And Ryan, so what do you, I mean, the production quality. It's is, much is it improved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that, well, I was like early on, right? Like yeah. I was show number like, two. Two. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So it's much better. I think the alien has improved. It's a bigger alien. Yeah. A bigger alien. Not only is it an alien, it's a random fucking yeah. alien. This yeah. is, why is it there? We don't know. We I want to add a little is. color. We, we did some evolution, right? We're ev evolving from human to aliens. That's so. yeah, or dead yes. ske human to alien. Yeah, that, that's one theory. Yeah. He's got a sweet Mexican cholo pose. He does. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yeah. What's up, Holmes? Take that makes me, me your leader, Holmes. Makes me miss LA. <laughs> Right, makes me miss <laughs> Is that like an undocumented, you know, alien a reference? Are you trying to, trying I don't know. to throw I'm something in there, man? Terrible at impressions. Oh, You're man. lucky you got that out of me. All right. Uh, so Are we lucky? No. <laughs> it's pretty, it was racist. So, so quick. Um, so this. So biology is so fascinating to me because it's code of life, and once you tap into that, it gives you access to change our life and on the biosphere forever um, in incredible ways that you guys have funded and that is so fascinating. So just what does, what does it mean to be able to tap into the code of life? And you know, can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, yeah, so, so many of you have probably read and heard about some of the amazing things that are happening in biotechnology now. So CRISPR is one of those technologies. Actually, last time there was a guy that said you could actually make a printer. That's how CRISPR worked. It was like a printer. And you just print DNA, and that's CRISPR, and that is not CRISPR. Uh, CRISPR is a, a, a way of uh, like a precisely gene potato editing. Potato chip brand, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It was, it was just, it's like pieces of paper. He thought it was pieces, and he was convinced. Yeah, like a cookie. Yeah. It's yeah. Like a cookie. You push he it said out. CRISPR, I was like, it's like crispy. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> did we get Pop Tarts on this yeah. show? <laughs> so so you, you, you very precisely edit genomes. Why that matters is because now we can actually read which we can do really well, and uh, we can now write uh, DNA. And DNA is us, right? So you change our DNA, you actually change our species. You change it by 1%, we become chimpanzees, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> animorphs. I love that for, shit. For some so of us, probably less than 1%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think like 0.001%, I'm, I'm yeah. swinging from We're a tree. We're all the 1% now. We are, we are yeah, the 1%, yes. Oh, that's, that's a good point. That's a good yeah. reference. And as uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson likes to say, what happens when you bump up the 1%? What, ha what happens when we are 1% different than humans, more intelligent? We speciate. Humans? We speciate. Yeah. yeah, we're a different oh, species. Wow. Right. Definitely has a Tinder profile. Yeah. yeah. Saying we want to speciate with me, baby. <laughs> We keep breeding, we'll get to 1% more than yeah. the regular humans. And okay. then 1% more, you species 9. Okay. <laughs> oh. well, by the way, there I was a time. species 7, 8, 9. There, there was How did a time. that not fucking kill? I don't know. That was yeah. a what, solid There was a time punch. when there were other homos, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, 
I, was, I yeah. threw that out there. There's no, no. Try, you yeah. try to fish that one out. <laughs> so we're so sophisticated no, no. comedians. So, so yeah. we don't yes. do hack humor like yeah. that. I don't do this gay so, stuff yeah. here. Okay, <laughs> this is this is no, a homo. science show, homo. sir. Yeah. 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 and I will be scienced, no. non-gender pronoun. Uh, yes. So yeah, I'm also reading that book *Sapiens* that just came out. Oh, so amazing, right? Book. Yeah, it's really good. Yes. I'm on page 20. Yo, oh. Good, that's good progress. <laughs> we'll invite you back. We're on good page book. 21. So, so *Sapiens* Read talks it. about a time when there were many other hominids, homos like us, right? So we tend to view ourselves as the only ones walking around, but the reality of it is. There were small species. There were like I think they found little hobbits. You know, the little hobbits on the island. They're like tiny little humans type Over characters. By Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, Indonesia. I've yeah. seen the movie. Yeah, and <laughs> you've seen the it's movie. It's real. It turns out it's real, right? And there were big humans. There were Neanderthals. There were all sorts of different like species that were human like Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah. That Tom which, Hanks which actually, movie. Yeah. He was big. The, the, right. Some people think that's a place called Doggerland in between. The UK and France, it's a little less exotic. Yeah. Yeah, it's sunk, right? So. Yeah. Doggerland. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are you going, are you spiraling into Atlantis theories over there? Oh, yeah. Wow, that I'm really, really into fast. the Atlantis theories. Spoiler alert, this entire show is about Atlantis. We just wanted to get you in here and then trick you. <laughs> There's no the science all at about. all in this show. So, so re- Stargate Atlantis, the best, the best oh. show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that best, the, the best star- Stargate. Maybe the that's best where they the best ending. Yeah, <laughs> when Most. it ended, that wasn't a bad thing. So, <laughs> so, is it just, so is it just a few different A's, T's, C's, and G's for me to have a longer penis? That's a good question. Well, have you seen the ad for Extends? <laughs> you can have it now. <laughs> All right, all right. And what about the few A's, T's, C's, and G's for superior intelligence? That's and superior Ooh. metabolism and superior yes. uh, genetic qualities that will further your children and not the children of Africa, for example. Oh. Yeah, so. Well, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well. Anyway, let's go to our first question. Yeah, hey, <laughs> Since we have eugenics a, hey, is no longer a thing. Here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just be ready. Be ready. It's here. Let's talk about how okay. further our lives. Suddenly, uh, an- an- Antifa. Lives. An- suddenly, Antifa turns up. Uh, right? say, yeah. <laughs> Take down Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> Just that side of the stage. Uh, this side is fine here. Okay. Right. Well, I'm glad we're already getting straight into eugenics <laughs> and the horrible, horrible legacy it has. <laughs> uh, right. Ryan, you're gonna read the questions. Okay, off where? Show? Yes. All right. Which? Where, where are the questions at? Oh, this is nice. So, what is the naturalistic fallacy? All right. All right, comedians, you guys have any thoughts? Looks like anybody. Yes. Uh, people say it's natural to be like six inches. Yeah. Uh, phallically. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is and a spelling bee. I think day. that's unnatural. That's personally. unnatural. No. What yeah, is natural? Five point five. No. Whoa. Uh, I'm. Gonna- <laughs> I'm going to say I'm like eight, so... Oh, okay, I got you. That is a yeah. fallacy, I believe, actually. Yeah. <laughs> of a different spelling. N- Natasha? It's that your naturopath is not really a doctor. Whoa, well, wow, well, was that controversial? controversial there. there might be a <laughs> naturopath in the audience. Yeah. Some I, herbs. All right. All How right. about everyone out here? Anyone like have an idea? Actually know what it is? Naturalistic so fallacy. It. Naturalistic fallacy. Wait, wait. Hold on, wait, hold wait, on, hold bring on. The mic up. That looks like a scientist to me. <laughs> <laughs> that because it's natural, it's good for you. Eureka. And it's not. Eureka. Eureka, sir. Doctor. Eureka. Come on down. Ke- Kevin, what's, what's a good example of a good naturalistic fallacy? Yes. Thank God. All right. Good hey. Good to see you, sir. Please I don't know. Just shaking hands for is you. This a we have. Plant like that. that we have in the audience this, right now? This is. This yeah. is. <laughs> No, this is, yeah, it's for your long, your long, this is nature's wild berry, I think you know something oh, about I this. I do, yes. Yeah, do you want to talk about what it's it is? tasty, tasty. Yeah. Give a round of applause yes. for Kevin. Great job. No, you don't get a t-shirt. Great job. Did you make your own headphones? Those are wonderful. Those <laughs> yeah. are really pretty headphones. You literally walked out Do you here want to talk about the Miracle Berry for yeah. a second? Yeah, well, the, oh, oh, that was Miracle, oh, yeah. that's Miracle Berry. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I would, I would. But, but one thing on the naturalistic fallacy, there we go. Plenty of natural plants are deadly. That's exactly it. Oh, delicious berries. <laughs> Turns out that not everything that's natural is good. Mm-hmm. Like poison ivy. Yeah. 
And, and when you go picking things in the forest, especially mushrooms, not all of them are psychedelic, right? <laughs> Some of them are deadly. <laughs> especially the beautiful little red ones with the, the caps on. <laughs> Do people rub poison ivy on their genitals? Is that... <laughs> This How the car- fuck did I miss that one? I dude? think this cartoonist does, <laughs> yeah, okay. and this is projecting to the rest of it. Some of that is in the BDSM community. Oh, really? That's, uh, I, you never know, man. You never know, man. Ryan, what, yes. what are Miracle Berries? Okay, so Miracle yeah. Berries. Miracle Berries are very interesting. Who's heard of Miracle Berries? Oh, a lot of people have heard of Miracle Berries. That's right. good. So Miracle Berries are uh, berries that grow in the jungles of West Africa. Uh, and they very slow growing plant, but it turns out if you eat the berries, uh, it makes sour tastes sweet, right? So, it, it, and it's a protein based sweetener. It's a big protein that sits on your taste buds. And basically every time you eat something sour, it tricks your mind and your tongue into thinking it's sweet. So, yes. You're already, you're already pumped about this. Uh, <laughs> Have you had one? You know what, that would be good for. Drugs. Okay. okay. Next. All right, oh yeah, going. and, and All right. it enhances those flavors too. Apparently, I was does talking about really? like curdled milk, dude. Jesus yeah. Christ, dude. <laughs> does it? Does it? No, no way. So, yeah. So Ryan, Ryan funded. I made a curdled milk joke with the word way. All right. Oh. oh. You have to better. really watch Natasha. She slips these puns <laughs> in, and it's just. Good joke. You get a you get to point them out afterwards. That's yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's we, we're gonna explain every joke. Uh, I don't know if you know good comedy. See, he's yeah, yeah. making a joke right now about. <laughs> yeah, so it's funnier if I break it yeah. down. What, Ryan, yeah. that was what a year and a half ago. You guys, that was a year, and, year and a half so ago, they funded Miraculix, um, which it, which does what Ryan described with Miracle Berries, and so they're doing things like helping cancer patients be able to eat their food. Um, they want to hopefully helping fat people lose it, weight. Yep. So that's always nice. So you can you take a Miracle Berry and then drink lemon water, and it'll taste like sugar water. Um, and, it, and that's forever changing our diet. We don't need to drink copious amounts of soda anymore. And here's the other cool thing about Miracle Berry and Miraculin, which is the protein. Uh, only upper primates can taste the sweetness. So... so sorry, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I can taste the sweetness, bro. (laughs) Now that's some low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Oh, Oh, here we keep going. (laughs) Talking it around. Because I look like this, and so she was like, it's low-hanging, because it's easy to make fun of me. I was explaining the the joke, (laughs) because... That's good, right? That's, that's the callback yeah. to the explain. Yeah, I'm now explaining the callback, which of the. Okay, okay. so we, we explained the prize of <laughs> yes. Miracle Berry, yes. but now let's explain the question, the natural fallacy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the natural fallacy is that everything that's natural is good for you, which it is not. You know, the nature and the natural world around us uh, is not. It's neutral to us, right? It's neutral to humanity, and in fact, it used to be deadly to us. You know, the reason we see, we're scared of things that bump in the night is because sometimes when there was a bump in the night, yep. you were dead, yep. right? The, the lion that was waiting in the, in the shadows ate you or ate our ancestors. It just bump you off. Yeah, the yeah. poison oak that you rubbed on your genitals came back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that itch was intense. <laughs> oh, no! Uh, but the good itch. <laughs> how, how about maybe more into how about our products that we consume right everybody's labeling now na- all natural all na- natural natural yeah everything's natural what is natural what is organic by the way so, yeah, so, so organic so. is anything that is made by a living thing right that is organic so anything made by biology is organic so it means nothing and in fact if you look at what natural means it actually means nothing so when you look at let's say dog food all natural or all organic the, the cow that died in the field of unknown causes, that's natural and organic. You just fed that to your dog. <laughs> the sometimes roadkill that they throw into the grinder, that's natural and organic for your dog. <laughs> Miracle meat, too, is what they call it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the roadkill. It's almost like it's being used now as a distinguisher between organic means non-GMO mm-hmm. and everything else is. This, this kind of seems like what they're trying to get through. But it's great market. marketing. We can't lose it for the marketing. No, my, my favorite is uh, non-GMO salt. <laughs> okay. Why? That's a thing. Why? That's a thing. Because it's, it's uh, an element. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, see what he did? He explained the yeah, joke. Yeah. You know uh-huh. what I, mean? <laughs> I was waiting for it because I didn't know why yeah, that right. was funny. So do you, do you think, do you think then the, it's all one big scam? 
this anti-GMO, this orga pro-organic health nine food. There is 9 a margin. 11 a nice labels margin. on the fruit. What's There's that? a very nice margin on it, right? It's so a nice organic, margin on yeah, it. It's a nice margin. Seems like a collection of small scams. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Tiny scams, like in a basket, you could taste. Little tiny scams. Tiny it's scams. Like a uh, food pyramid we, scam. We, we, that's true. We we can we can play with that idea, right? So, like, what is a banana? A banana is a clone that is grown in a field full of banana trees that are clones of each other. Yeah. Right. That are actually the same identical organism. Right. And we're eating the same thing. That's why the banana always looks and tastes the same because oh. it is a clone. Really? I always but thought I was eating a new banana. I was like, yeah. oh, this is a new one for today. You're my friend. But no, it's the same one. Same one. It's awful. Same banana. <laughs> Just recycled. Okay. Well, what about the pesticide, you know, you put on a banana or versus, you know, uh, an organic banana doesn't have any GMO supposedly and doesn't have any that, pesticide. That's true. That's true. Uh, there aren't currently no approved... Uh, GMO bananas, although they're making them, the reason is they're all dying of fungi. All the banana trees, the banana tree, the bananas we like are actually dying because they're all getting sick with the same disease because it turns out they're all clones. One disease that affects one banana tree affects all the other banana trees. So it's, it's a, a fu just one fungus then? Just one fungus. And one banana. And one banana. I love that movie. Epic struggle. Right. Yeah, it's a struggle. The struggle's real. <laughs> Yeah. It's, just, it's like the picture of like the, the squid grappling with the whale, right? Yeah. I, that's but it's like just a big banana with like just fungus. <laughs> this is fungus very dramatic. All over it. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. You'd be a great biology teacher. Thanks yeah. so much. <laughs> just you know, just make it hit, hit home, right home. Yeah. That does slightly scare me because bananas are delicious. They are yeah. delicious. But so you we'll, can we'll have your banana and eat it too, which is kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> So yes. maybe we'll Thanks have so to much for laughing genetically at my jokes. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Well, unless unless people like you know eating those little bananas, like if you don't like the big bananas, maybe maybe you can get used to eating the little ones. That kind of sucks, right? I like the big bananas. That's what women say too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, hey, let's go. On. Let's go. Let's get a little risky here. <laughs> huh? yeah. We we'll give you guys a room. All right. All right. On we go, Brian. What is the trillion meal study? Who's heard of that? Comedians, thoughts? Well, it was one study they did, and they did it a trillion times, and then they said, hey, let's call the trillion. I have no idea. That was a spinoff of Brewster's Millions. <laughs> one first, the first one trillionaire. Yes, yeah, someone has that reference. Could, had a, could, had a meal study done on him, or her. her. What's the trillion meal study? Uh, well, it, it sounds like it's a boring study, it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it I'm could be at, the tri lion study. Which one? Try lion? You just can't read. Ah, I'm thinking outside the box. Oh, but, you gotcha. know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on the fact that I was just in a grocery store last night, and the normal potatoes were 80 cents each, and the organic potatoes were a dollar 80 cents each, and that happens for all of the organic produce. It's just slightly more expensive. Still stuck on it. All right. Well, we're stuck on this question. Do you guys have an answer? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it a scam? Is it a scam? Dun, 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 dun. Trillion, Trillion meal study. Come on in. Come Anybody? On in. Take a seat. Oh, come right. on in. Right. Just wager a guess. We can see if we can kind of figure it out, crawl through the darkness. Sir, do you have a guess? It's sir? In order sir, to sit, sir, you need to have please. A... Please <laughs> come here, sir. This sir, <laughs> please come. Yes, you, sir. Please. Come on down. Please come here. here Give a round of applause. Please come here. Please come here. We're being coerced right. on stage. Hey, you can just stand in front your of name? me. Your name? What, Marish? Yeah. Okay. What is, what's the fucking <laughs> yeah. trillion meal study, dude? <laughs> yes. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> face, us, face the audience, it, dude. It's like see, the, see all these people? Yeah. yeah, see how nervous it makes you? <laughs> you can do this, man. If you smoked weed, you'd be like, I shouldn't have smoked weed before this, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you smoke weed, Manish? No? Maybe you should. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, all right, buddy, all right. You don't, you uh, don't have an, a guess, just an answer? Study, shout something out, dude. Fucking say yeah. something. What's your favorite color? Uh, orange. Oh, yes. you're right. You got You're right. Thank all you so right. much. Thank you, fuck Thank back you, Manish. On up Thank there, you. Marie. Marie. Thank you. It's the slowest march on Washington ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was funny. That, that was great. Good job. Anybody? Nothing. Do you want to give a hint? All right. It has something to do with food. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right, we have food. a guest. 
shot in the dark, but China study, because they ate about a trillion meals over the course of that study. Ooh, that's an interesting wow, guess. Wow, dude. Okay, Good it, yeah, it, is, dude. it is not the answer, but I like the China study. Ah. The China study basically was a study across China to try and understand why people got cancer in China. Turns out, eating plant-based foods reduced the incidences of cancer. Boom, yeah, vegan. But, <laughs> but my, nobody bingo, clapped for him because it was the wrong answer. But it was the wrong answer, but a good feel try. Good about yourself, I like sir. that. Yes. But cancer is natural. What do we? What do we have against? Yeah, ah. true. Ah. Cancer is, is so natural, the natural yeah. order of things. Yeah. Why is it then why do they label it organic cancer? Well, I'll tell you. You don't want to get hit with the organic uh, cancer. No. I'll tell you <laughs> what. That's a little more expensive Boy. in the hospital. <laughs> right Horrible. in the organic. That's got to All hurt. right. <laughs> Laugh at that and go to hell. Okay. <laughs> so we have trillion no meal study. I think there's a struggle here. The struggle is real with the trillion meal study. Well, yeah, let's see. Okay, there obviously there's a trillion meals they're studying. Did you guys used to like beat up people that gave wrong answers? Why? No, I wasn't. Like, I don't know. This is a tricky one. <laughs> Any other hints? Oh, wait, wait, there was someone shouting. Okay, hold oh, on, hold on. Got a We're coming. Race. We're coming. We're coming. It's a foot fetish. Another massive shot in the dark. But <laughs> what would it take to make like? to feed a trillion people. So, in other <laughs> words, good. like you're gonna have to probably not have a lot of meat and like figure this one out. Like, can we survive on jack shit, basically? I, I, I think that's a good guess. It's not the right one, but it's a good that's, one. Uh, <laughs> you know that's, that's not a good right one, but I like that, that guess. I was great. like, yo, what if a trillion yeah. meals yeah. got made? Does anybody seven, else seven fleet people wish to uh, like venture it. forth? Did we get warmer? So it's like a, like a slim fast for a trillion people, right? Exactly. Right, you, everyone loses weight. Everyone enjoys it. Eat very little. Right, I like Eight, it. We should, we should do that videos. study. All right, all right. And uh, how much and weed do you have to smoke? <laughs> <That's> the recurring <laughs> to eat theme. a trillion this is, meals. This is stumping people. This one. Yeah. <laughs> well, how much? You would know. So many pots. Yeah. <laughs> Like 45. Don't give away all the answers to the subsequent questions. <laughs> So no, anybody else have an answer? Your DNA has THC in it. Trust me, none of your answers could be wronger than what's been said so <laughs> far. <laughs> anybody? Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. Yeah, let's, All right. Okay, let's. Oh, let's wait, uh, wait. Did wait. you want to try? Oh, oh there was. There was. Where, where's our? Where's our? That's guess? good. That's All right. All right. Yeah, All right. There, there we go. go. We're sir. gonna call this right, no matter what. I cheated, but it has something to do with GMOs. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. Come on, you're getting okay. warmer. GMOs this guy are cheated, safe. still didn't, didn't well, get the correct answer. You're getting way. warmer? You're getting warmer? What I about cheated, GMOs? I cheated, but I still lost. Has, <laughs> has something to do with testing if GMOs are safe. Is yes. That, is, that, is that it? That's close enough, right? All <laughs> right. <laughs> you're well, Eureka. 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 Come on down. I think that's more like a close enough guy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a close good. enough yeah. get. <laughs> yeah. All right, sir, we get your own Eureka T-shirt. Oh, yeah. You can hold it up for everyone. Oh, that's nice. Fucking A, dude. Two buttons down, There you too. go. I like that. Yes. Dude, look at that. Got that science chest. Yes. Like that, this is to our cheater. Now, who'd you cheat on? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the question you made. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. So thank you, sir. I'm funny that means you just had to, like, uh, answer everything. I know. I but, uh, my wife's making me. I cheated. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll take her, her name is Shelly. Okay. The Trillion Squeal Study. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we so go. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Here we go. Boom. These are these are all actual insects that are growing out in the field. Monsanto made Monsanto's. them. Monsanto. Yes. Thank you, Monsanto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We love How Monsanto. They, they make great, they make great um, insects and, and things. So we just so stick needles into tomatoes? And yes, okay. and inject them with ideally toxins. Is that tomato like That's a so heroin junkie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, I got it. It's, it's a tenderloin fix. tomato. Right? It, uh, <laughs> That's, all. That's the beginning of that yeah. tomato movie. You know? yeah. uh, it's, it's called a heirloom tomato. Yeah. There we there go. All right. Would have been funny if I remembered it. But. <laughs> trillion meal study was a study of all the data of over a trillion meals to look at the difference between non-GMO and GMO. And they weren't able to find a difference in terms of health outcomes, right? So there appears to be no difference in health outcomes based on people who ate GMO foods and non-GMO foods. And the study was sponsored by Monsanto. It was, oh, well, no, Ooh. no. Was it sponsored by Monsanto? No, uh, no, no. I was I like, thought it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was thought, like, shit. I should have looked into that. <laughs> yeah. 
That would have been like a yeah, okay. Lori Povich moment. Like, yeah, you are no. not the study. You are my, not my, the My study. Monsanto check slips out of my pocket. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> we just witnessed, Writing in we the just, jur- we, just, we just witnessed how Twitter works. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Journal of Animal Science, um, largest study ever conducted by Allison Van Eneman and Amy e. Young, genetic, oh, geneticist like in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Edmonds. California, Davis. Reviewed 29 years of livestock <laughs> productivity and health data from both before and after the induction of genetic engineering animal feed. And it's uh, 100 billion animals. And um, a vast majority, what is it, 70 to 90% of genetic engineering cr- is crop biomass, mostly corn and soybeans. So we've mm-hmm. been eating that for decades yep. now. All yeah. the time. Nice. All the time. Yeah. Sweet. Sponsored by Monsanto. M- sponsored by Monsanto. Uh, oh, the check just fell out, Alan. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When was the study done? I want to get one of these fucking checks. Right. Where, yeah. you all, you all you have to do They're is say checks. you like GMOs, uh, yeah. and the checks appear. I appear. fucking like That's, GMOs. Yeah. I like GMOs. I like GMOs. Close your eyes. And <laughs> Can they just pay me in joints? <laughs> it's going to be my yoga mantra. Well, organic, organic or GMO weed. That's, that is the question. They don't have, there's no distinction there for weed. There's not like, well, I bet like, you no that, one sells I bet organic you the, weed, the do really, they, Mark? They I bet you the really I, good weed is probably GMO. We just don't know it yet. Oh, uh, fucking uh, genetically <laughs> modify the shit out of whatever the fuck, I guess. Yeah. Right? Uh, yep. Yeah. No? All right. More THC. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, so, so the, the, we want to propel civilization more towards being okay with genetically engineered foods uh, because it's fucking natural. Because we've been genetically engineered as humans over the, time. But you just said it was, it was okay because it was natural. <laughs> Uh-oh, the naturalistic fallacy uh, rolls uh, up on us again. <laughs> you said that was funny. That was really funny. Yeah, yeah you it, got it. it was. The quick wit. So, so, he um, just said it, not me. So genetic engineering is part of Darwin's theory of evolution. That is funny. Sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. Wait, wait, when was that study done first? Uh, this was recent. This was, I think, 2017 still. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. UC Davis, right? No, I think yeah. it was a little... What was it 2017? Well, it's, it was... Okay. Yeah. I was just checking it out today. Dude, I right. would pay you money to walk around like a farmer's market holding up a sign with that study. And just to see... It says pro-GMO and pro have a little GMO Monsanto to see if you sign. Get out alive, I love Monsanto. Get some, like, broccoli yeah. thrown in your face. Yeah. <laughs> We want to be able to feed the world, and in order to feed the world, we need to figure out what are the best, for example, bananas. You want to eat bananas forever? Well, we need to edit edit their genetics so that they don't get consumed by fungi. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, start giving these bananas the HPV vaccine, you know? (laughs) Oh, Oh, here we go. So (laughs) is that a bad thing? Okay. (laughs) No Uh-oh. judgment. I'm no not judgment. trying to eat no give, fungi. You're going to give everyone the autism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we start referring to bacon, I mean, uh, bananas like we do bacon, and just like refer, like, you know, you say like a piece of bacon, you can just say like a piece of banana, since it's just yeah, yeah. one out of many. Nobody is enjoying this? I, <laughs> I, think, I think it's... You're trying to running. change the banana yeah. game. Yeah. I like it. Can I have a piece <laughs> of banana, please? <laughs> I, I, right. I think we could do it with like banana and avocado. Probably we could tr- switch those out. Is avocado genetically? All right, it, it, I got it is not. That. It is not. But you know what? There's something cool about avocados, right? Yeah. So guacamole. You know that big seed. <laughs> you know that big. I already know the answer. Right. You know that. What, what do you think that big seed in the avocado is? That big ball it turns into an avocado tree. It does. Hey, he was just fucking asking me the question there, Alan. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, but, you can't even watch but, Jeopardy with but, this asshole. But what, what is that? Like, that is a fucking huge seed. Yeah, fucking yeah. A, dude. I'll well, tell you what. So I, what is, why? I've seen, why? So why? Because you got to get this avocado dude, money. Dude, the creator dude, endowed know the avocado. How got much it. money are avocados? I, that The money is inside the, the fruit, the vegetable, the f- It's inside in the there. meat. That's yes, what you're trying to There we go. Yeah, the plant, dude. So. Have you ever rubbed an avocado all over your balls, Ryan? <laughs> Going back to an earlier I, I have slide. Never it's tried just that. like poison ivy. Yeah, it sounds so, actually kind of creamy. It's poison ivy feeling. Yeah, yeah, you shove the pit up your ass. <laughs> and then you. <laughs> this just that's went a down big a dark That's a big pit. Yeah, it's a big. <laughs> this show's gone like Folsom Street Fair really quick. <laughs> I mean. Okay. Footloose to the avocado up the, 
Why is it such a big seed? It's like half the avocado. Yeah, well, because you seem it... Le like, legit angry. I like yeah. that. You have such I ask passion. myself that question every, sometimes, every too. Day. Why is it so such... a big Imagine seed. Imagine if it was the size of an apple seed. We'd get so much big more avocado. Seed. Yes. <laughs> oh, we can engineer that. We could totally engineer that. Eureka! Yeah. Eureka! <laughs> yeah. so, wait, so what's the interesting thing then about so the, the avocado? Answer, the answer <laughs> is, it was never meant for anything living today. So the ah. avocado tree, the avocado tree was actually meant for a much larger extinct animal that used to eat avocados. And so it'd eat the whole avocado, and it would digest it, and it would walk around and poop out the seed. Oh, avocado wow. monster. So we need to modify a bird so like to be an big extinct, enough to shit like out a, an avocado. It was like a big ass sloth. Like a massive one, right? Yeah, used to eat, used to eat avocados whole. I love that. Have you heard about the avocado sloth? Yeah. Well, let me tell you about that. That's a great like intro. What Just a great line, icebreaker. So we're eating food from an extinct animal, or at least evolved from an extinct animal. Exactly. Exactly. Once the megafauna disappeared, the avocado would have disappeared. But wait, full disclosure, I have shat out an avocado seed. You have? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know. I've done it. <laughs> Late at night, two PBRs, and it was uh, rolling on the linoleum floor. <laughs> I was like, thought it was a truffle. <laughs> wait. I just poured salsa over it and said, where's my crisper machine? Okay. Another point? Yeah, avocado trivia. You know what Aztec aguacatl means in Aztec? No. Testicle. Oh, That's wow. Right. The wow. testicle tree. Yeah. It sounds a little less really? tasty, you right? You guys the, uh, like this, I'm sure. <laughs> this, yeah. Wow, the, you were already on your game there. <laughs> yeah. You were ahead of it. I told you, dude. I know what the... Yeah, man. How do you pronounce that again? Aguacate. Aguacate. Uh, Aguacato. All right. Aguacato. I'm going to be the annoying white guy at Whole Foods. I'll get two aguacatos, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, say it at Tree my, testicles. I say it at my restaurant every time. I want uh, aguacato on my burger. Yeah, exactly. And you then like sprinkle it. the salt like. Yeah. yeah. Like that. All right. All right. <laughs> Next question, huh? <laughs> Let's go. That was good avocado. He, he, just, he just referenced a meme. I did just reference a meme, yeah. That was great. Yes. <laughs> so, so this one's a fun one. It's so weird. Uh, God, how, is meat, over here. how is meat grown without the use of an animal? A whole animal. Comedians? Thoughts? Very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> How's meat grown? How is meat grown? Without the use of animals. Well, I don't know. Do we cage it? Science? Do we cage Ooh. it? Do we yes. beat it? Do we feed Do it? Do we want to eat that? That's the whole uh, point. Uh, well... I don't know. I think I think I'd put like you know quotation marks around the word meat then, if, if it's you know without Auto animals. Meat. You, uh, uh, plants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Let's plant. The, the plant okay. meat tree. That is something one day we might what be able they to do. Meat tree. The meat tree. Aguacatl meat. Because remember, we have the testicle tree already, clearly, right? right? So, so the the fruits from the testicle tree. All right, all right. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa. The trees up there? What yeah, are we talking about? All right, <laughs> all right, all right we got some questions. We got an answer. All right, the comedians had their chance. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Long ago. Yeah. Long ago. <laughs> Still, Still haven't got mine, but uh, I don't think I ever will, so. It's okay. They weren't going to laugh So anyway. a small biopsy is made from muscle tissue, and it is an put animal. into a Petri dish and grown in a collagen matrix with... Um, uh, nutrients. How the fuck you, am you I supposed like to know that? You sound like you're Eureka! Eureka! That sounds like a scientist to me. <laughs> I had my chance. I'm supposed to get that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> hey. That was like four words. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> Biopsy <laughs> matrix collateral. You both randomly guessed. For you, sir, we have some nice vegan jerky. Oh, All good. right. This is. That's that fucking. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That's that, that scam jerky. See, I like that. See, no, I don't want. You that. see the flavor? That's sriracha maple. Uh, oh, enjoy that. I don't know how that goes down, but Did I hope you, you enjoy the it. Matrix while Sriracha you were maple, all these weird tastes, <laughs> these flavors. That is an intriguing taste. <laughs> Weren't you told that this was going to be the show? When you <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, I got the questions right, and then they yelled at me afterwards. Yeah, you so. can't fucking yeah. win in this seat, sir, okay? Yeah, you can't fucking win. My goal is to make you laugh, and that is what I'm failing at. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See? Ooh. There you go. Can't even get a laugh roasting herself. What the fuck is that, people? She can't even make fun of you. You're going to go, oh, oh. 
Is anyone else living. getting an erection? I'll, tell you, I'll see you, <laughs> sir, inside the fucking Matrix, <laughs> and we'll go toe-to-toe on some... Look at this muscle uh, biopsy here. Yeah, that's right. a good biopsy. I'd take that right in the avocado pit. <laughs> that's the thunder down under, I think, in the lab. Oh. That's okay. a nice peck. Yeah. R- Ryan, so... All right, let's... Yeah, there it is. So... Okay, so you take a, a stem cell. Yeah, you take. You, so you basically take. Here's here's the crazy thing, right? So you basically take a small muscle biopsy from anything, an animal, right? And it uh, has to be a stem cell because that grows faster, right? Yes. So you, you well, get the stem cell. How do you cell. determine? So go, step back. Yeah. How do you determine what's a stem cell versus not a stem cell? Well, th- there's ways of. Um, you, you can actually. Uh, you can use like a special dye to tell whether it's a stem cell or not a stem cell, and then that. That dye, you basically get those stem cells and then you grow them. Uh, in typically, a petri dish is the start, but then you actually move into what's you know a big bioreactor. Think of like uh, beer, f- uh, beer, uh, how beer is fermented, right? Uh, it's one of those big beer casks essentially, but a little bit more high tech, and then you just grow it. Now here's the crazy part: one stem cell can grow about a ton of uh, meat. You, using wow. using what? So what were what was the col- collagen meals. collagen matrix? Yeah, you can and use the collagen matrix. So collagen matrix gives it structure, right? So so all of our organs. So let's say right now, you know, we were to like reach into our chest and pull out our heart, right? I have your heart Everyone, right here. Try it at home. Yes. Fatality. Yes, fatality, right? That, I loved Mortal Kombat back <laughs> in the day. Was there the good you stuff. go. So um, <clears throat> you, you basically have a heart, and then what you do is you strip all the cells off the heart. And then you get what's called a ghost heart. It looks like a heart, but it's see-through. It's transparent. That is the collagen matrix. It's the scaffolding, Ah. like a building, right? It's the thing which gives structure to your organs and to your body outside of your bones, right? And so when they grow the meat, what does the collagen matrix look like? What do they... Uh, well, so it depends. So, like so often, often for the uh, more processed meats, you don't actually use the collagen. You actually just grow them in a bioreactor, the cells themselves. Uh, but if you want to have certain types of structure like this, you actually need a collagen structure. You need the scaffolding, right? So it's like an, an analogy, a good analogy is like, uh, you know, bricks without, you know, random bricks on the floor versus bricks that are stacked up against some sort of steel structure. Right? So you can make it look like any shape you want. It Pretty much. like an umbrella, a meat umbrella. Pretty much. You can get really crazy. Pretty much. Yeah. You could have, I mean, you could grow. <laughs> so. You could grow a whole house made of meat one day if you wanted That's to. That's some serial killer shit there. <laughs> yeah. Why does she want You could make a meat umbrella. That's a... <laughs> that you know, when I... you get rain, it rains. And Wouldn't it be great, though? You just want to wear your meat to block out the rain. It's for when it rains cats and dogs. Wouldn't it be great, though, if there was like a reality TV show called Meat House? You know, like, oh, let's watch Meat House again. Oh, no, no. Oh, don't eat the wall! <laughs> Don't eat the what? Okay. Yeah. That wall's medium <laughs> rare. It's a medium rare wall. Right, Ryan. So um, muscle biopsy yep. that is a stem cell, that yep. has stem cells. And then um, p- p- possibly collagen matrix, possibly not. Possibly not, yeah. And in, 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 in a bioreactor. Collagen how matrix, if you want something like a chicken breast or like yep. a steak or something that like that. That looks a certain way, like a heart would yes, when you strip like it a heart cells. Would. That's right. But then what is the protein that's needed in order for it to grow from stem cell, or what is it? You said I think you've told me before. Sugar, yes, uh, enables it to sugar. grow. Sugar, and there, there are certain um, uh, fetal bovine growth factors. They're called. Uh, they're actually being removed, so they're actually still an animal product. So uh, scientists are actually removing that now from the what's called the culture medium. It's like the broth that you grow all of these cells in, and it's the nutrient broth, right? It's like the nutrition for the cells. That's how we feed them, right? One of the big challenges with growing thick bits of meat is that you need to have uh, uh, like a vascular structure. You need to have capillaries and veins that feed it, right? And today, we're only just figuring out how to do that. And so eventually, we're going to have thicker and thicker bits of meat because we're figuring that out. I'm not going to tell a joke about that. So like, no. <laughs> I know, I was getting a strong penis vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and have you seen these in the lab? Have you seen these in the lab? These giant uh, uh, one phallic. ton? Well, maybe not the phallic. Phallic. Like a one ton. Yeah. Thick 
vast killer pieces of me. Have you seen these things? I, <laughs> they, so, so, I, I have all these urban, 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 urban legends. Oh urban legends. So Snopes. No, no, nobody is yet growing it in immensely huge bio. Not in huge. Not in but huge volumes. You have funded companies. Maybe tell us about the companies. Yeah. So so uh, so some of you may have heard of some of the companies we funded and helped build. Memphis Meats. Uh, they grew the first lab-grown meatball. Uh, they also grew the first, uh, which was tasting. Ta went through a taste test and was indistinguishable. Yep, from from it is meat. It's yeah. not fake meat. <laughs> they it's didn't meat. get any fucking Dago Italians in yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true. This you is put true. me and my aunt Barb in there. She's not fucking with that. She, she won't fuck with that. <laughs> All right. What would that sound like, Mark? It would be like it would be like. What's up, Holmes? Uh, <laughs> Is that how your You're aunt Italian, talks? You're Italian. Italian. I don't know. I can't do accents. <laughs> Does your aunt speak to you? Uh, yeah. That's uh, that's a, that's a, not a spicy meatball. That's, yeah, right. a, that's a that's a spicy. That's a fake meatball. How about that? Yeah, that's that's a good. that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good. Oh, I accents. like that one. That's a These spicy These are super authentic impersonations. Oh, it's oh, not going to be any better. Yeah, I would rather play yeah. Mario Brothers. Like, it, like the spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. I like that. All right, who else have you found? Yeah, so uh, so <laughs> Finless Foods, they actually grow fish. Got a couple retweets up there. So uh, Bluefin Tuna, Mahi Mahi, Cod, uh, and a few other different species. What stage are they at? They're very early. So they're just growing the cells right now. Memphis Meats is much more developed. Uh, and, then, and then there are a whole host of different other companies that grow things like gelatin, like the collagen. Uh, and uh, that's called Geltor, that company. Uh, and then, <laughs> sounds like Skeletor. I don't know why they changed Gel the name. That sounds like the worst superhero yeah. villain. <laughs> Geletor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next time. <laughs> and that, I, 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 that name kills me, by the way. They, they, were, they used to be called Gelzen, right? Which sounded kind of beautiful. I was like, yeah. Gelzen. Gel, yeah. And then they were like, oh, we're now Geltor. Hey, Geltor. Like, Geltor. <laughs> Taking like, over the world. We have those things in us. It's and like Skeletor, like right? Yeah. 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 Providing collagen to fake meat. Watch yes. out. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe talk about uh, New Wave Foods and yep. Clara Foods. Yeah, so New Wave is plant-based. Uh, they make shrimp that's not shrimp. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like shrimp, but it's actually plant-based shrimp. And they've made those. They made those. Already. They serve those. They serve those in the Google, Were those Google cafeteria. Yeah, they served in the Google yeah, cafeteria? Yeah, Google, cafe Google loved it, right? That's, that's fried, really cool. shrimp. Wow. Yeah, fried, fried shrimp. Fried shrimp. Yeah. Not shrimp. <laughs> By the way, go to Solely Vegan if you, like, if you like things that are vegan but soul food. That's good. In Oakland. In Oakland, I love that spot. It's a and good spot. Uh, Clara Foods? Clara Foods. Clara Foods brew egg whites. Wow. So they basically take the genes from chicken, chickens, the chicken egg white genes, put it into yeast, and brew it like you brew, brew beer. Hmm. Well, and all of these, they come out, they look like the food item. They, they, they look not like, like, they a taste bowl like of pudding, like, enjoy your steak. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to I'm science. Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pudding! And they, say, they it, talk like it this. Does, too. It does talk These like that. Artificially it walks out, intelligent. Eat me. <laughs> Gelator sent me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try the Gelator. Uh, uh, okay, good to know. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a question. You wanna... Oh, there's a question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or a comment, hey. maybe. All right. I'm blinded by the lights here, so. Hi, I was wondering if this process works for any type of stem cell, like totipotent or pluripotent? Uh, to yes. Uh, so, so typically they use adult stem cells. Uh, so that, that's usually what's used They're from biopsies. But I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't do something like reprogram it and make an embryonic stem cell, right, if you wanted to. Just, just to get the Republicans in there saying, fuck no, we're uh, not going <laughs> to use an embryo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, she had, you had the nicest voice, by the way. Did you? It was very hear sweet. Yeah. yeah, it was very sweet. I was sweet hoping voice. that she would just go like heel and be like, um, I was wondering if you guys could go fuck yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh, please. Please say that. I, I think. We'll, we'll come back to you a little later. <laughs> You say that, all oh, Eureka, the shit, Adi. I'll, uh, I'll make sure that that dude with the good she's question a bit stunned. with you tonight. <laughs> when I, 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 I don't even think she understands why, uh, but she's certainly thinking it now, even though she hasn't said it. You look at her, look at her face. She's definitely going to have a fuck. All right, let's go to the next question then, all shall right. we? Can you think oh, of, it's think it's of it's a joke, Mark. Crackhead Bradley Cooper's a dick. So... 
Really quickly, what, um, what, uh, yes, the beautiful dream with it. You can feed the whole world protein very yep, cheaply. Yep. Um, what, the struggle today, though, yes. um, what are those challenges? Why can't it actually grow faster in the bioreactors? So, so it's a scaling problem, right? So we ba basically need bigger bioreactors, and we need to, you know, as a bioreactor grows, imagine like a bioreactor this big, a two-liter bioreactor, right? It's small, right? Then imagine a bioreactor the size of this room, right? It's full of cells. Biology is exponential, right? So these cells divide every, uh, you know, 24, 48 hours for mammals, roughly, right? So you basically, if you have uh, a room this size full of cells, within 24 to 48 hours, you're going to have, a, a, like, twice this size of cells, and twice that, and twice that, and twice that, and twice that. So how do you keep that going? So that's, that's one of the challenges. And it will do that, though. If it you will put do it in that. Yeah. So, so they can grow that right there in how, how long? Just that well, that, that, that was like a funny one. That one was, uh, was a professor over in the Netherlands who oh, grew... Oh, too bad. Yeah, it's a funny <laughs> one. You know, it's, a, it's a cute one. It's a cute one. He used to be a professor? Y yeah, he used to be a professor. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was pretty delicious. Yeah, what does he taste like Yeah, he now? was pretty delicious. <laughs> was he? <laughs> I had him with some Chianti, I think. Okay, oh, did yeah. Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> Lick your lips. There you go. Professor Tartar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Sashimi. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. That's, a, that's, a, that's an incredible challenge to, to hurdle over, and it'll be very important to do yes. so. Yeah. yeah, but we're talking about, you know, these products being on the market in three to five years, right? So, yeah. so fast, right? And the biggest problem is just making sure the FDA is okay with it. They appear to be, but we'll see. It's all right. Oh, man, I'll check. Next question. Ooh. Oh, yes. If you love Justin Bieber, could you, in theory, make a Bieber burger? Ooh. Yeah, this well, is oh, shit. we have Paul. Okay, this we have a, well, an wait, answer. Personally, wait, I'm okay. a One Direction burger oh, yes, kind yes. of guy. <laughs> Style. Could you make a Bieber umbrella, dude? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be great. <laughs> Just do this like his leg as the... Who here is a Bieber fan, by the way? I thought so. Oh, okay. oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, she does. <laughs> <laughs> she Here's where that question's about to come in. It's dude. coming in. All right, we have one Bieber fan baby, with a melodic voice. Baby, baby, oh. Could you make a Bieber burger? I kind of feel like if he got drunk enough, yeah, you could make a Bieber, Bieber burger. Of course you could. That's a euphemism. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> could you make a Bieber? Yeah, you fucking yeah. you, you just take his uh, you take his uh, his collagen, um, you spin it in the matrix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get Keanu in there. Yeah, and you yeah. make sure the... it's got a good thick vascular vascular so pulsating. So you would combine pumping. a little Keanu yeah. and You gotta make sure the capillaries yeah. are nice and dangly, just yeah. dangling yeah. down. You get a good pit, shove yeah. it up your ass, yeah. <laughs> and have the moth eat. I mean, the sloth eat it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you get a you get a piece of banana. Uh -huh. No, thank you. Then you're right. welcome. Hold back everything. <laughs> How much burger could a beaver? Bur <laughs> burger beaver. <laughs> <laughs> not even worth saying it. No. How much burger could a baby Sorry. burger? How much burger could a Bieber burger burger if a Bieber burger could burger Biebers? Ah. Ah. Audience, <laughs> double right. double Bieber, please. <laughs> all right, all right, we have our. Uh, here we go. Oh. Yes, if you can get his stem cells. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. Your so, I, so I think it's it's wait. a eureka. But can I do wait. can I do no. a all right. follow a joint thing? Right. So, I'm, so never I think back. there was a question over here as well. A comment over here. I think this will be a eureka. So eureka, right? Eureka. 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 Come on down. But I think there's a question there which I think will be particularly interesting. Yeah. Okay. He What's saw me question? earlier today. Yes. Well, you, well, one quick second. Let's get the question, question and then yes. we'll yeah. Or a yeah. comment. Yes. Yeah. Actually, she's nailed it. This isn't theory. You could make uh, if you could get the stem cells, you could make a burger out of anybody. Um, I mean, you know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you... Justin Bieber has got the right to his own cells, so you'd have to get his buy-in to do a cheek swab or something. Or, but, I talk to his manager, can probably work something out. So, you know? so, so, so like earlier, a, give him a cut of the burger. <laughs> er, earlier today, Paul had had something he particularly wanted to share, right? Yes, but Hold so. On. So he came up and he said, "Actually, Just this is down. very delicious." Uh, well, yes, we have a uh, we have a Facebook group called the Society for Ethical Cannibalism, 
Uh, okay. <laughs> How many members are in that? It's a public group. You can join. Right now, 33, but we're okay. hoping by the end of the evening. 34. It's probably going to be like it's 32. It's an exponential <laughs> thing, you know. Yeah, no, it's going down as we speak. Yeah. As you can tell, we have a real meat lover in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, fucking so frightened right now. Grow dude. Human, Wait, human. That's <laughs> vegan cannibalism, right? Yeah. Is that Would that be vegan cannibal? Ethical, uh, you know. Uh, but PETA, <laughs> seriously, PETA sponsored a competition a while ago uh, to see who could come up with realistic chicken that didn't involve killing a chicken. And their theory, there's a million dollar go. prize behind it, but they couldn't get anybody who could do a completely indistinguishable replica. But PETA basically was dedicated to the proposition that they would sanction the eating of meat if you didn't have to kill the animal. So once I heard that, I thought, well, hmm. So you first off, like, my, my, my buddy eagle, over here looks delicious. The animal. only other logical <laughs> answer would be humans. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it. That's the only other meat, you right? Only, you only you had chickens and fucking people, right? Yeah. This has gotten ominous. All right. All Maybe. Right. You're, uh, you're, let's you're no, yeah. Let's give her her prize. Eureka, Come on down. Eureka. Oh yeah, Woo. we opened a lot of yes. windows in that. Uh, <laughs> that was. Um, <laughs> You only have 17 members, right? Well, 18. All right, we have for you a oh very special book called Have a Nice DNA. Oh, oh isn't oh. that sweet? Wow, oh, well, that's nice. You hold it up. And also, just can you do a quick favor and just tell Mark to go fuck himself? Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, oh. How sweet is she? Get her out of applause. Well, yeah. You better marry her, sir, or her, him, sir. Uh, <laughs> How sweet. You marry him, him, yours, you. You're, it's always nice when a personality fits the voice. These dudes want This guy no, wants to talk. I love when the lights go down. <laughs> this is exciting. Someone up there wants, wants to oh, say right. something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You All chose right. like before he was even 18. Uh, That's yeah. really weird. <laughs> so there was this thing that went viral recently called Bite Labs. And it was like this thing that said, hey, you can eat James Franco. Uh, we have his like lab grown meat uh, as salami. Uh, do you guys have any comments about that? I, I think it was fake, but it was like very Why viral. didn't they call it Frank's? Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, <there we> <laughs> Salami? Why aren't you in branding? I just don't understand. Yeah, that's like some uh, John Ham shit right like there. Wait, wait. Oh, here's a quick well, one question. Would you rather eat Justin Bieber or James Franco? Be honest. James Franco. <laughs> Franco. The lights uh, went on. He hit away. I don't know. The thick Ma mustache, that creeps me out. Make uh, some noise. Let's, let's do an audience test. Make some noise if you would eat Justin Bieber burger. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Make some noise if you eat James Franco. Frank. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Frank will More in Bieber the burger for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> More burger for you. All the Bieber burger. All the Bieber burger. <laughs> staring at you. Ryan? <clears throat> All right. So, so, yes, you can, right? So, that is actually. Uh, that, <laughs> that, is, that is actually uh, a fake uh, in terms of that's, that's actually real, but the, uh, the Bite Labs, I think, are fake. Uh, but it is actually uh, an idea that people have thought about. And obviously, Paul over here uh, has actually started a group to, to eat humans uh, ethically, right? So you can hit him up. Uh, yeah. It sounds delicious. I wanna, do we have a vampire in the audience? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> If you guys would like to talk to him, he'll lead you to a lair under the bar. Uh, it's a great party. I don't know if you've ever seen Blade. Don't watch it. Uh, but is there, okay, is there an unethical uh, Facebook uh, e eating humans group that we just don't know about? Was that your first one? And this is now the ethical one? <laughs> Are you like just trying to make, <laughs> he's no answer right now. It's, <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was right? like when they changed the Facebook to Facebook. He was right. like, on ethical. Right. <laughs> it's cleaner. Okay. Not so, so just a quick question. It, anything that you take mm -hmm. stem cells from yes. can be therefore made into... Yes. Someone, someone was enjoying there the thought of a burger. <laughs> it's beaver burger. <laughs> but that, that's human meat. That and no meat. one here except for you, sir, has eaten human <laughs> meat. <laughs> So we don't know how it tastes or whether we'd want it. I mean, I, I'm sure he's super talented. He obviously works out a lot. He's a nice, firm... Anyway. No, and I, I, know, just, yeah. sure if that's I don't want it, I don't want it to seem like we're shaming you. Like, no, for, no, not at all. I'm not saying like, that's a bad thing 
to eat huge. Yeah, no, it's creepy. I will. <laughs> I'll definitely give you a page bad. like. I'll give you a page like on Facebook. I'll I'm definitely. judging you. <laughs> I'm not shaming you. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I see it. I gotta take it. So it's a problem. My question is, he. Oh, grab the mic, sure. Yeah. Nice. And then I'll drop it when I'm done. Nice. Oh. Confidence. Just check it this out question's head. that dope. Actually, uh-huh. it's not at all. Uh, you said something that got me thinking. You were like, yeah, Justin Bieber, he's in shape and blah, 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 he tastes good. Does being in shape even, like, matter if you're doing this? Like, how does that... Ask that, that fucking Ooh. guy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> ask, the, ask the dude with the very pointy teeth in the second row. <laughs> he, just he, he might show you. He down. might show you. <laughs> Do you approve? The hypnotizing voice, too. <laughs> Um, but right, it doesn't probably matter at all, right? No, n- not really. And, and so ultimately, like, what is taste, right? So you can imagine if you, if you have the right meat cells, well, you also want beavers like fat cells, right? And you grow them. If you want a fatty be- beaver, you can have a fatty beaver. If you want a, 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 a light beaver, a you know, fat light beaver, you can have that too. So you could grow your own distinct flavors, mm. maybe over different eras. You know, maybe beaver at 60 and beaver at 18, right? Oh, oh, well, that would that'd be a waste uh, of food. Leave the... Yeah. <laughs> All I know is now, in the future, musical artists will have amazing merchandising tables. You know what I'm saying? You got the t-shirts, the, you know, the oh music, and then, oh, eat my meat. <laughs> Ryan, are you, out of all things I've ever heard of, yes. you being in favor of biohacking for, are yes. you in favor of this as well? Oh, totally. 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 Yeah. totally. Yeah. And, and in fact, like, so I got approached when I was, a, you know, kind of doing the biohacking thing. I was starting all these biotech labs and stuff with other, other biohackers, and I had this, like, grinder. So I don't know if you know what grinders are, right? It's, it's, it's an app. It's an app. It's a great app, right? Yeah, so, well, that's uh, how me and Mark met. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The avocado coming out. The avocado. <laughs> the story is interlinked. <laughs> I right? said hobbit cado. So, <laughs> so, so, so grinders are people who like open up their bodies and put devices <laughs> into themselves. What? Yeah, They're they put like they do like kind of <laughs> medical type things to themselves. So they go to like uh, put your Fitbit in your butt. Uh, you could oh, do that, wow. but you'd have to like cut open a piece of your butt and stick it in, and then that's a grinder. Wait, wait. It's like a neural prosthetic. Yeah, so, so what they do is they do things like they'll, they'll like, like open up their arm and slip in like a, a device computer that monitors chip. the temperatures. Yeah, computer chip that monitors your temperature and flashes, right? Like, and they're called grinders. Oh. Yes. Why grinders? So like yeah. a, a, com- a yeah, little group grinders? called Grindhouse Wetwares do this stuff all the time. You can Not look them up. better. <laughs> they like open up bits of their body. There was another guy that was like, like put magnets into his ears. So literally... Opened up flaps into his ears, put some magnets in. These are fucking in. Terminators, dude. So. These aren't. <laughs> and then, like, put an electric, uh, like, uh, basically put a, an electric wire around his neck, and he was able to hear, like, like headphones, but without having headphones. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. So. That's real cool. A I grinder like approached me, and then he was like, hey, I'm into the whole S&M scene and whatever else, and it's like, I'd love to Nash. make human leather. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, okay. This and I was out. like, actually, that, that is possible, right? You could grow human leather. So you could have like yeah. a Bieber uh, jacket made out of Bieber yeah. skin. Or an umbrella. Yeah, or a rug. Wow, people don't want to eat any food right now. We- uh, yeah. <laughs> silence of the lambs yeah. jacket. So that is, had no idea that there was that going on at all until just now. Eureka, there you go. You learned something all right. today. All right, Ryan? Yep. We're only going deeper. We go. That future, wow. How would you make a clone of yourself and use it for parts? I saw that. I saw that movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how would that, make a clone? Wasn't that a movie? It was a movie. That was a good Tons movie. of clone Actually, movies. we're featuring the guy that wrote the book. And use it for parts? It sounds like I, well, I keep a clone of myself like in the basement and just yeah. harvest it. Harvest it when you need the, the parts. Uh, or like give it to my friend here and say, hey, I know it's lunch. <laughs> Taste the, your beaver. Uh, I have no idea. That'd be a See? sweet party trick. You'd be like, oh, dude, guess what? And like cut off your arm. Uh-huh. And you'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck? And you're like, ah, don't worry about uh, it, dude. I, another I, got one. I keep them in the basement. And I, <laughs> I don't feed them. But <laughs> you just got this fucking grinder downstairs, grinder. you know? <laughs> okay, you don't have any Thoughts? better answers? Let's see. 
Uh, something about stem cells, I'm sure, right? Yeah, that's probably right. it. I think we might yes. have an answer. An actual answer. Oh, let's oh, take oh, that looks like we'll the scientist there. area over there. Oh, there's an answer? I thought this was like a hypothetical situation. Cord How would you? Banking? What's that? You just bank your cord blood, like when the baby you, you is would born. bank your cord blood? I mean, from, the, like when, from your mother, like when the baby is born. So from birth, so you would yeah, yeah, yeah. travel back in time? No, I mean, like people do it nowadays. Yes. <laughs> so the mother, if the parent banks the cord blood, and that could be used later for and the then, kid. Okay, and then what would you do? You could u isolate the stem cells and create any, like, you know, organs or, you know, parts. I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty. I think I think it could be closer. Closer. Oh, there we go. There's some scientists in the mix. Oh, they're on fire back there. Oh. It's sort of a follow-up question, but yes. um, if we made a clone of ourselves, could we? Hold on, temporary. Who's back? That's not this thing, is it? No, that's a speaker. It's the speaker. My mic is working. Mine is too. My mine is fine. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right, back Everyone's in action. Nishashi, you on? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. the positivity. All right. That's a famous well, Instagram Apologies quote. for that technical Ooh, we got hot in here. All right. <laughs> okay. We are back. Um, what I was saying, it's uh, sort of a follow-up question for this one. If we could make a clone of ourselves, and then if we could improve upon the parts that uh, that aren't working or the, or the ones that we don't like, could we, like... Uh, make them better and improve upon them, and then like replace what they have. Uh, replace what we have, which is like the bad stuff, but what they have, the improved things, into ourselves. Make it better. What you guys think? I always like to take the like bad things, and replace them with the good things. Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody anybody else have an answer? Oh, well. the four dudes, the 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 four musketeers. I like these guys. Yeah. Man. <laughs> We've had they probably here. wreck shop at <laughs> bar trivia nights and oh, shit. They're like, God damn, dude. All answers. right, hold on. We have another. We have an answer. Okay, the stem cells. Um, I think I remember reading somewhere. From the stem cells, you can actually choose which organ to grow, and uh, based on that, uh, you can actually grow the organ in a dish. Like, if you're growing a heart, you can choose that it's going to be a heart and just culture it, like grow it. That, that, is, that is true. That is true. Um, but you wouldn't make a full clone of yourself that way. Right? So, so that is the ethical way to grow bits of your body. <laughs> yeah, we want the unethical. <laughs> okay, so, are, so we're getting warmer? We are very warm. We're very warm. All We're right, very hold warm. On. We're very warm. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say since we're going unethical here. Okay. You take yeah. an embryo that's a couple of days old. Yes. Split it and artificially have twins. Ooh. And that I, way you oh. have two individuals that are the same age and you can use the parts because oh, that they're is the same clever. size. I fucking like way, this guy's attitude. That, dude. that is a eureka. What's, this is eureka. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. This eureka. Yeah, is, and that's very clever. Oh, oh yeah, guys, buddy. game plan. Yeah, come on down. Come on down. Hell yeah. So I didn't right so I didn't even realize this that dude's I didn't even think Skyler, of that as the dude. answer. Taylor? But that is actually a way to do it without yeah. genetic engineering. All right. So we have for you Regenesis. By Harvard professor George Church, How Synthetic Biology Will amazing. Reinvent Nature that and Ourselves. Book. Very exciting. Start splitting yeah. those embryos. Yeah. There you go. All right. Like George, right. George is awesome. Who is George Church? So George Church is a Harvard professor of genetics. He is uh, a dude who has made a ton of companies, a scientist. I think in his lab he has like 100 Oh, oh, there's, oh, there's Trump. We're gonna make some clones. some extra Trump clones. I think that's great for for America, <laughs> right? <laughs> we would have no political. It's just let's just stock it up. Like stock it up. Look at that poor fellow there sitting between them all. We'd never not be entertained, right? So, <laughs> um, so George Church. Oh, that and that's Dolly. You guys know who Dolly the sheep is? Yeah. 
So Dolly the Sheep was the first clone. She was actually a clone of her previous predecessor. So uh, who is George Church? He is a professor of genetics. He started a bunch of different companies. He actually makes organs in pigs that are, that are called xenografts uh, and all sorts of other crazy things. He stores digital data in DNA as well. So uh, he does lots and lots of crazy things and his book is wild. It's cool. He's cool. Yeah, guy. I actually give that a read. Um, great answer. Actually, what now? Were you, were you looking for an answer she, to your question? Um, one of your own cells, then it can be more readily accepted? Yeah, so that is a right answer. However, it's not my answer. So uh, we'll, we'll keep it going, but you're right. You're right. Ooh. And does it, it is actually. Does it have anything one. to do with so the movie Face Off? <laughs> it it oh, does. Really oh, nice. That's so, really. So it, has, a, it has something to do with yes. that. Is that a half Eureka? That, that is, yeah. well, yeah, I would say half a Eureka for sure. All right. Okay. Cupcakes, yeah. Because Eureka. it's subjective. What is the most exciting? And I have a particular view on that, but I think it, it's yeah. right. Yeah. All other right. other so. thoughts yeah. regenerative yeah. medicine? Exciting, okay, so. regenerative. Oh, there we Here go. first. Just still an answer? <laughs> Mine was kind of the same thing, but just the ability to uh, reproduce damaged or diseased organs. That's beautiful, and that is also half right, right? Because that I like it, agreed, but not, but the, not brain, my answer. Brain it up. Yeah. Yeah. Should yeah, we brain? Oh, let's we, no, don't brain it up. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's All right, let's that. hear. All right, right here. There are books. Yeah. Huh. Is it skin? That's called the brain. Ooh, you're very close. Is it burn victims? Ooh, you're very close. Burn. You're Ooh. half right, but it, it is. You're half right. You're very close. Speaking of yeah. burns. Can we like stay younger longer? <laughs> kind of. Kind of, yeah. I think that's also wait, true wait, too. Remember where the warmest answer was? The warmest that was, answer that, was on that skin. answer was the warmest. The Staying true. alive longer? <clears throat> oh, I, I like this. I like this. The longevity. Yes, as well. All right. Yes. Uh, stopping degenerative brain diseases. We're preventing like the natural degeneration of the brain. Yes, as yes. well. Okay. Yes, as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we we know, but remember, skin. We're on skin. Skin's the closest. Skin is the closest. Burn. burn. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Bringing back our dead relatives. Ooh. Well, what about you're actually also a little close. What about there, like too? nail growth? They tell you're nails? also a little close. So now you've got the skin and the bringing back dead relatives. So bringing like back the skin of. Relative. That's amazing. Okay, I, I love science. Yeah. <laughs> I love science. I'm, I'm keeping it all like... Free umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> You've all listed very exciting applications of yes. regener regenerative medicine, but so, Ryan is... Okay. So what, no no one got it? No one has any other ideas? You, you, gonna, Food? The what singularity. Is, oh, the singularity is near. <laughs> all right. All right. Ryan? Eureka! What is Whoa. that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those. That, by the way, is my screensaver. I just so, want. for me, the most exciting application in the near term, it's subjective, is yeah. nipples. Uh -huh. you a, I think there's a certain freaks. gender bias here. Yes, and I'm going to tell you why, right? Justin Bieber milk? Oh, <laughs> oh that is God. an excellent mix of. We're of growing different nipples for women with mastectomies from yes. cadaver nipples. So, from a dead. So they have dead. So, your dead relatives, they, they actually can still provide some skin. Which is actually, so the nipples are actually structured skin. They are collagen. They have a certain structure to them. Oh my gosh. Right? So, so you're, you're saying like, uh, you know, you could be intimate. It's that. <laughs> you could be well, we weren't, we weren't able to bring her all the way back, but we have grandma's <laughs> <Yeah>. nipples. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, everyone kissed the nipple. Everyone what it was like. I Up there it. on the mantle is grandpa's ashes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's titties. Grandma's titties. <laughs> put in that song. She got it from her mama. Uh, oh my and gosh. I love your earrings, <laughs> Tiffany. Are those grandma's nipples? <laughs> oh grandma's <no>. nips. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's nipples. There you go. There's, there's some uh, the nips. cadaverous nipples. Yeah. Yes. So, th so this, this would, you know, we're laughing, but a lot. I don't know what, what amount of people per year have yeah. a mastec mastectomy. Mastectomy. So about a hundred thousand women in the U.S. alone per year have mastectomies. For those of you that are not familiar with that, they have their breast removed, and so what ends up happening is they end up having reconstructive surgery so that their breasts are essentially bare. There's skin, but there's no nipple, right? Because the nipples is, is, a, is actually a, a type of very specialized skin structure. So it's very disfiguring. 
And so one of the first applications of regenerative medicine, I believe, is actually going to be in uh, taking uh, nipples from cadavers and uh, cleaning them up, decellularizing, taking off the, the, the cells, and then using the collagen structure and then re-implanting them into women who have lost uh, their breasts. Wow. It's, 100,000 it's, a year. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah, so glad he, he's thought a lot about this. It's, but eventually, though, I mean, this is obviously for people with the mastectomies, but yes. it, it, eventually it could be, you know, an elected surgery you oh, have. Oh, for sure. You're like, hey, check out these 800-year-old nipples that <laughs> I have here. Or total recall, you know, with all the... You got all these people showing up to Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like these Amish nipples <sighs> from 1942. These are $40,000 nipples. <laughs> Oh I found God. these nipples in my attic. Well, uh, uh, upgrades, right? Upgrades. If you didn't like Ryan. your nipples, you can get new ones. Ryan's like, this is so exciting. <laughs> maybe, so, uh, maybe another one of the most, uh, f f the quickest regenerative medicine applications will also be burn victims, which we heard up there. Yes, as well. most definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, most definitely. Just so, their nipples, though. Just their nipples. <laughs> Put nipples all over their bodies. So that means, yes. that means, like, on, on my driver. You look at someone's skin and you're like, ah, I wish it was just. Just tons of More nipples. Nipply. <laughs> but that means, like, on my driver's license, I could be an eye donor, nipple donor. I could, you know, really be generous with my body yes. parts. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with your kid? <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, like, just people in general. I just wish their fucking skin had more nipples. Yeah, yeah. I think that's... Keep smoking. I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen what smallpox looks like? It looks like there's a lot of the... Sort of nipple structure. I'm not the into the BDSM community <laughs> like you are, Alan. Oh, we have one question here. Yeah. Okay. Where to order them? We will let you know at the end. I'm okay. yeah. um, just curious, for the mastectomy example, why would yeah. you have to use a cadaver? Why can't you just use the person's original nipple, clean off the cells from that? They're not cancerous. And yeah, it, it depends. So if it, it depends on the person. So uh, sometimes uh, if, if a person is getting uh, a mastectomy done, sometimes there's been a diagnosis of potentially cancerous growth. And so what they do is they just take off the nipple anyway, right? You, you don't want, even within the nipple itself, what you don't want is you don't want patterns that may induce what's called oncogenic growth. So cancer growth, uh, the structure of things can sometimes cause cancer, right? So the structure of the nipple, if it's been changed by the cancer, could allow another cancer to regrow. So, so sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't. There it is. Really All interesting. Right. Question. Let's go to the next question. question. All right. Ryan. What is the most data dense material in the universe? Comedians? An avocado nut. Uh, US it's full of data in That's there. That's why they're so big. Yeah. As the testicle uh, tree, well, as we now data know. Data dense material in the universe. Uh, not what's in my head right now. Mark's ashtray. Mm. The most data dense. Can, can we skip me? I think, I think he may know. <laughs> oh, the, the alien? <laughs> oh, that All was right. charging at me, yeah. dude. <laughs> Most dated. Oh, Star Trek The Next Generation. That is oh, always a win. There is a reference. <clears throat> Audience, what do you guys think? All right, hold on. We've had a hand here. Who has not answered yet? Let's. Ah. Uh, remember data? I didn't watch I Star did. Trek. Manish Come is on. ready. Manish. I remember. Yeah, so your DNA, I guess, your genetic material codes Ooh. for the maximum amount of data. Right? Manish, you're very good. That's your eureka moment. Eureka, yeah, eureka dude. come on down. See, I knew Woo. that, but I didn't want to ruin it for... Yeah, he really saved himself after that. I first know. Day. All right, so what's the tri uh, trillion meal plan? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we have for you your own cuddly DNA oh. strand. Oh. Oh. Your favorite color. You can take that to bed with you, sir. Oh, <laughs> Enjoy. Your yeah. applause for Manish. Did you plan that to be his favorite color? I did, yeah. I'm that, that was good. Great. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, it was orange. You remember Do you guys that? remember from before? Yeah. Everybody, you guys were here orange. like an hour ago? Oh, my God, yeah. So, did you say orange was his favorite color? Yeah. This is the answer. Oh, my gosh. D is DNA is a million times more data dense than Flash. What does that mean? It basically means things like data centers. I'm sure you've seen these huge data center warehouses. NSA. Can, NSA can fit into a little vial, like about this big. Crazy. So right? the newest the newest numbers from Columbia University and the New York Genome Center publish a method which allowed a density of two hundred and fifteen petabytes per gram of DNA. Petabytes. Wow, two hundred and fifteen petabytes. That's that's more a petabytes a thousand terabytes. 
Yeah. It's massive. It's massive. And they store one petabyte per day today. The NSA does. Mm -hmm. That's what their newest number is. So um, here's, here's the craziest one part. One gram. In, Intel? Oh, I, I know now. Now that you said gram. Oh, <laughs> you, I saw you, your You nice could actually. Being Eureka. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, what, wait, wait, let's have oh, them say their question. Maybe you say your, say your statement first, then we'll go. Um, so what's interesting about DNA is that it's also forever storage, right? Probably longer than our species will exist. So they've been able to pull out DNA from 700,000-year-old ponies in permafrost in Siberia, right? Pretty hard disks. Me. Yeah, the little ponies. Yeah, so uh, hard disks fail every 20 to 30 years, right? Imagine that. Click, 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 click. Uh, 700,000 years perma storage. Interesting. Oh, so you, put your, you put your porn collection on your DNA, and it's like it's there. You don't have to you don't worry about it. Just the new species will be able to see what you enjoy. Yeah, like that can be embarrassed for hundreds years. of thousands did of years. Did ponies <coughs> remind you of that? It did, kind of, yeah. I'm, I'm a furry, <laughs> and, to be and honest. Let, let's walk through this really quick to show you guys. So you take zeros and ones, and then Ryan, you can explain yep. encoding it. So and zeros and ones become AGTCs, right? Uh, that is a coding system, and it's at the molecular level, right? So it literally is a physical coding system. The data and the molecule are one and the same, pretty much. Uh, and then you synthesize it, and then you just sequence it like you sequence a human genome, right? That's how you read it. Crazy, right? So it sits for tens of thousands of years, and it only weighs a gram, and then, yeah, you sequence it, and then code it into zeros and ones Billions and read of copies. It. Billions of copies. Yeah. To, to read it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fast. It depends on the, on the density of the data, right? So um, it can take a little while. If you've got petabytes, it might take a couple days, but that's where you, where you basically have uh, cold storage. So today, the way we store data, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but we store data in hard disks, and we store it in, also in caves. Yeah. So, so is, that, is that then the future? Will eventually a thumb drive actually be a thumb? You know, I'm gonna just it, stick my thumb in here. It could actually that. be. That was actually also a movie. Was it? Yeah. Thumb drive? Yeah. <laughs> she okay. didn't see that one. <laughs> oh. Was it Jennifer Aniston? Was that? <laughs> and, and so you've um, have you only funded catalog, or is there catalog? Another, that that is, there is the only one. No, no, no that okay. is the main catalog. Is do catalog technologies? They were funded. They raised five million dollars, and uh, and they they stored their first uh, storage was uh, The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost, oh, wonderful. Uh, which was very book. nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, the poem. The poem. poem. The poem. Okay. And then that was uh, one kilobyte, <laughs> and then one megabyte uh, was wow. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Nice. A so book. A book. <coughs> a book. Yeah. A book. Right? Four so that's some very impressive. Yeah. And they're on their way. Yeah, done All right. deal. All Ooh. right. And Last question. question. Ooh, how do you make a spider silk tie? Right. And they can't get out that way. No. Yeah. Oh, that oh, can they go out that way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me show you where that we're making our Eureka spider moment. silk ties. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the back room. Thanks for coming out, folks. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Last question. How do you make a spider silk uh, tie? At the big well, right. One, why do spiders have to wear ties? That's uh, yeah, I was going to say at the big and tall store. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> it's like an answer for that? 3D printing using synthetic spider silk. Ooh, that is Eureka. That's Damn. Eureka. Yeah. Oh. Should we just give her a t-shirt? That was good. Balls? Could give her the balls. Let's give her a Eureka t-shirt. Yeah. Here you are. Good. Yep. Round of applause. Yay. Yeah. Yay. All right, what's the significance of this, Ryan? So yeah, so that is how spiders make silk, right? And that is... Well, if you put a bunch of these guys in a room together... Uh, they, they find each other a little too tasty, <laughs> right? You're taking us, but, back, yeah, taking us back to the ethical. Uh, the ethical cannibalism moment, right? That's not ethical, to strap a spider down. Who the... Yeah. What kind of child... What kind of <laughs> messed up child... Know. Who's like, fuck burning it with a magnifying glass. I'm tying this son of a bitch down, <laughs> and I'm taking all its sweet spider silk from it. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a startup entrepreneur, actually. Yeah. I, I mean, it turns me on, let me tell you. I can bet. I can bet it does. <laughs> Trying to make a spider milk silk, uh, milk silk, uh, I don't know why I said yeah. milk silk. 
So the oh, significance of this is spider because right <laughs> spider silk is very strong. Yes, so spider silk is 10 times stronger than steel per weight. What? Right? Oh, fuck that. Let's strap these fucking yeah, spiders get down. It <laughs> and I'm trying to have a fucking spider silk car. Uh, <laughs> it, it, all spider Just silk all the, the time, right? Spider silk. spider silk car <laughs> with rims. So <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Conscious. Spider rims, you ever had that? <laughs> so... You're Spider the most silk. perfect example of greedy and capitalism. Oh my God! You catch if I get any sort of money, Alan, you will look at my garage and it'll just be ten thousand fucking spiders, spiders. Just, <laughs> just spread, spread eagle. eagle. And just, Are you just pulling it I'm out gonna have, by your hand. I'm gonna just have little children uh, working on it, just uh, rope uh, by rope. It's fucking be like a fucking spider CrossFit gym in there, dude. Oh man, just doing uh, that. Uh, Okay, so, so what, what can we use the steel for? Spider silk steel. You so, have a so spider silk. You're uh, spider silk actually has so many applications. It's essentially bulletproof, right? So you could have like bulletproof underwear, right? That is the lightest silk. Always useful wow. too, by the way. But, yeah. That's Thank God I was wearing that bulletproof underwear. I would have been <laughs> shot in the ass. What are we doing? What are we doing? Jerking off cows for what? To make more cows? You are not getting milk right. What are you t- we, we actually do exactly uh, that. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, to make I'm more saying, cows. Yeah. yeah, that's how you jerk. Listen, guys. I know what I'm talking about here, okay? Yeah. Why don't we farm spider silk? We should. Okay. No, right. yeah, I, I'm in agreement. Just glad with that. that we're on the yeah, same well, page. A lot there, of there, right? So Why don't ter- we biohack it? And we did. Great. So, so there's. A <laughs> trying to set him up. So, uh-huh. Eureka. So that. <laughs> Is a spider silk you know tie Yuri. made by a company called Bolt Threads. And really? even more wow. interesting, oh. one of our favorite uh, shoe companies, Adidas, made the first spider silk shoe. Really? Yes. And it's super cool. So you're right? saying you if go. I put that tie on, someone can shoot me in the fucking chest. <laughs> and it should bounce off, ricochet, and hit your clothing and go straight through. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want. I just want one bounce. That's one it. Bounce. That's one bounce. Just one ricochet. Can, can you buy this Adidas shoe now? Just for no, a... no. Right now it's just for demo. You yeah. can buy that tie, or you you wow. you enter a lottery to buy that tie. Really? There's a lottery. Fifty people got a chance to, to yeah. buy that tie, uh, and fifty people did buy that tie. It was an eight hundred dollar spider silk tie. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and it is, you know, probably as close to bulletproof as you can get. That's amazing. Now, wow. Yeah. That really? Is, that is That's actually crazy. pretty fashionable. PETA has got to be up their ass about that tie, right? I think, I think PETA's into it. Oh. Because, so, so what an entrepreneur did uh, that started Bolt Threads uh, is uh, he's a, a friend of mine actually here in the Bay Area. Uh, he he's lives over in Berkeley, Emeryville. He took uh, the genes from spiders, spider silk, put it into yeast, brewed it like you brew beer, and then had to come up with a really clever way to extrude it, right? If you saw like with the, the spider, the way that the, the spider silk was coming out, inside of the spider, in its abdomen, it's actually liquid, the spider silk. And when it comes out, it actually becomes a string, right? It's extruded. So it goes from liquid to uh. a string, a thread. When it's extruded, so they came up with a process to extrude it and turn it into thread. It's very clever. Do they tie That's like cool. a lab technician down and they start extracting? <laughs> like, oh just, shit! Yeah. Drink this yeah. fucking liquid. Yeah. All right, spread your legs. <laughs> well, spread your legs. It's the only way this works. Yes. Uh, Bonus. So, so, now, now, uh, yeah, we have. Now we know that in terms of like veganism is popular, you know, here in the Bay Area, but it also has a negative connotation. People think, oh, if you're a vegan, you don't have enough. You know, energy, or you know, you're not a real man if you don't eat real meat. Brian is a vegan, right? Right. That is, that is you are true. a vegan. I am a vegan. And we're talking about I'm not fake. a real man. Okay. We <laughs> talked about. Well, we'll find out. We talked about fake meat. So we have now a bonus question for our guest scientist Ryan Ooh. here. We want to know: Can you be vegan and have a sexy body? That is a very good question. What, what's What do you think? Hey, cue the music. If you think I, I'm. I, so what do you I think, think the answer I think is? The answer is. Yes, and to test it, it's hashtag uh, vegans of Instagram or vegans. Oh yeah, well, yes. let's find out what the answer is. Oh, oh hell yeah! Damn. All right, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Oh, you're an extra that's, in that's wow. interesting. Max here. That is interesting. Yes. Uh-huh. 
Look at how good. sexy we have this vegan was, model that was right a here. A nice, Is a that nice from surprise. Furry Rose? Uh, yes. When did scientists have to take headshots, by the way? So that was my 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 uh, vegan ex girlfriend in L.A. who made me take those are nice shots for and her your thing. wife Peter. Oh, just yes, my wife Peter. Just you know. You. So now we she have the answer. Clearly, me. you can yeah. be vegan and be sexy. And you're looking look so awkward up here I, on stage. I love, I love the uh, taste the cover feff. Yeah, That's, taste the cover feff. That's actually what it means. We, yep. I love you so much. And you know, this is my theory is uh, I don't see any nipples in here. And no, no, there are. I think Orion's got some uh, genetically modified <laughs> old little uh, uh, chest nippies. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> Added extra, remove them, right? One, one or the other. And with that, we're going to say thank you Thanks, Ryan. to Ryan, Beth and Court, everyone, Thanks, and Ryan. Natasha and Mark. Thanks, Natasha. Thanks, Mark. Guys.